Hello! Hunters, the Sheep Killer here, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda The Midish Cap. This is our final bonus episode here, and today, we're gonna start by covering glitches. As you can see, we got one here, where everything's frozen. We use Zawaru, though, and there's a bunch of particles on the screen, and sometimes I disappear. Well, that's all because of an ocarina glitch. If you use the ocarina as you're trying to go up the stairs, sometimes you can cause time to freeze like I did here. I practiced it off screen just to show you how it is at the start of the video. And it ends by playing the ocarina again. Suddenly- Oh my gosh! That is ridiculous. I wonder if I can pull it off again. Oh! I, I pulled it off! There it is! Here you go, time's frozen once again, and this is basically what I did before. I tried spilling my name, but there were too many particles, so I'm gonna make it smaller this time. Do that, and we almost got it. It's not gonna be exactly right, but whatever. Yeah, you can use the cane of a Paki or Poxy, whatever it's pronounced, to kind of do stuff like this, which is pretty cool. I, it doesn't look like the game will let me pause. So you, if you want to make use of an item during this, you have to already have it equipped before you try this glitch. So let's keep going, and we can probably make the game freak out by putting enough of these particles on screen. And yeah, that guy disappeared, and other particles that may have started to disappear. So yeah, we can just do all sorts of crazy stuff with this. This kind of- oh, I disappeared! Okay. This kind of doubles as a Minish Cat bonus episode and the World of Glitches episode. So, yeah, never before have we seen a Let's Play episode that does multiple things like that, but there we go. And we put so many on the screen that I actually can't fire anymore. That's crazy. Now what happens if we play the Ocarina again? Oh, my goodness gracious. There we go. Well, that's our first glitch for the day. We got, like, two more that we're gonna cover, and then we'll start looking at other stuff. There's a few reasons why I wanted to do the bonus episode in the series. Well, Psycho did a Let's Play on this game. A little while after I did, and there's a few things he talked about that I didn't, so we're gonna talk about those after we cover all the glitches. So yeah, I just decided to get glitches as well, because why the heck not, you know? And for this one, we're gonna want to have a water bottle equipped with a B button, and we're gonna want to read the sign as we're emptying the water bottle. <laughs> yep, there we go. Now, this one, unlike the last one, is pretty easy to pull off. And once we do it, our collision's gone. But we could kill enemies, so this glitch actually might be pretty useful. Yeah. We don't have any collision with the enemies, we just go right through them. None of their attacks will work on us, but we can kill them. Pretty nice. And... Yeah, this, this is how it is. And we, we still collide with everything else. I appreciate it would end if you leave the area, same with the Ocarina glitch, but it could also end if you... probably empty the bottle, but it also ends if you roll. So... Yeah. Find any to prove this on. I think the only enemies over here. I think I killed all the other ones. Just to prove it, yeah, the roll does end it. Now there's another glitch I'm gonna want to cover. We're gonna want to go to the Palace of Winds for this one. And now I'm gonna want the Rock's Cape equipped. And let's just go up here, all the way up. And this is the Palace of Winds. What we're gonna want to do is this. This one will take a few tries. It's not as hard as the other one, but it's not necessarily easy either. Basically what you want to do is try to do a downward thrust while going upward while over here, because it causes something quite funny to happen. I don't seem to be able to pull it off. You need to have the downward thrust ability for this, and I know I have it, so what the heck is going on, game? Oh, there we go! We got it! This is what happens if you do that. You just start taking damage over and over, and you won't die from this. You're stuck. It's it's a soft lock. It might get annoying after a while. But it's still kind of funny. So let's see how far we get to see our hearts though. All the way down to zero. What will happen? Oh, by the way, I'm gonna try to move around these my islands. Nothing works. What is dead? Yeah. Zero hearts. It's still going on. So, um... Yeah, that's a thing. We can't even pause, so... Alright, after that craziness, we're back at the tile screen here, and we're gonna start a new save file here. Because we need to start a new game to... to be able to see this next thing. This is the only thing we're gonna need to start the new game for, but... Yeah, I'll just make the long save file here, and we can't skip the cutscene, so I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, we finally have control here. There's one thing I wanted to show from starting a new game. We need to have a new game 
to show this because it requires a scene in the beginning of the game. We just hold a piece of grass here and when we talk to Zelda, that happens. Long curry, let's go! And, oh, okay. That happened too, I guess. Yeah, that was it. That's all I wanted to start the new game for. If you saw Psycho's Let's Play this game, you already saw, you've already seen this, but whenever I showed it anyway. All right, one last thing. I actually never 100% this game. There's still some figurines left to get after we beat the game. Turns out the mirror, sh the mirror shield isn't the only piece of post-game content, because once we go in here, hey, I've been waiting for you. I've got something to show you. It's our final series, my friend. Check it out. You wanna try one now? You wanna try to draw one now? Yeah. We got some mysterious shells here. We're just gonna spend as much as we can. I have uh, 97 shells, okay. Let's just pull the lever here. Grab and pull, and we get Zelda and Link. These two became fast friends because of Smith and the King of Hyrule. Zelda wishes that sometimes that the sometimes unreliable Link was just a wee bit stronger. Well, later on in the game, Link got way stronger, so... Congratulations! I'll keep the figurine in the case on the left for you. You can see any time. And I believe there's six figurines, so we got five left to go. So let's keep talking to him. How many shells do we have now? Oh, we don't have any. All right then, I guess we gotta go grind for more. I do have a way to do that. We got this yellow pico right here. Again, if you saw Psycho's Ninja Cap series, you already know about the figurines, or if you played the game yourself, of course, and you also already know about what I'm about the show. We're trying to grind for some mysterious shells, since they're, since I don't have any more. The best way to get them is to buy them at the shop. I don't have enough rupees for those right now. Oh hey, we just got a mysterious shell. But yeah. So we need to get rupees, and the best way to grind for rupees is to use the yellow pico light, because that makes rupees more likely to spawn. So now we took out those enemies. There's... I think there's a mob one over here to take out. Yeah. Let's take out these guys over here, and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. If you don't already know, or if you just want to see me do this. I don't know. But, yeah, let's get rid of this guy. Down he goes. And now, we get the yellow pico lights. There we go. And now... Dude, great expanded, we get so many rupees. It is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm gonna get a bit more. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of rupees. Alright, let's, let's grab these before they can spawn. And 489 rupees. That is more than we spent on the old peak light, which is 200, so... Yeah, pretty good. I'm gonna do this a few more times to get enough mysterious shells to get the rest of the figurines, so I'll be right back. After quite a bit of grinding, I think we finally have enough Mysterious shells to finish up here. All these mysterious shells put in 98. And let's pull the lever. And which one do we get this time? We get Minish Ezlo. The Minish Ezlo before he was cursed by Vati. He's a famous Minish sage. Even among Minish inventors, he is renowned for his amazing creations. Interesting. Now how many shells would this one cost? It costs 99. Alright. Nope, I didn't even play the Ocarina. I'm not trying to do that glitch again. And we got the Black Knight to pierce the Dark Hyrule Castle. This is the strongest Dark Knight. With a good balance of attack and defense, he'll do anything to stop you. Okay. And now we got a few more to get. 99 shells once again. And... I'm not trying to leave, Ezlo. Ezlo stops me. Saying you want to waste your shells if you leave. Yeah, yeah, I know. And... Vati Reborn. This is the first phase of the final boss. The Sorcerer Vati took this form after draining the power of the Light Force from Princess Zelda. Evil beams from his eyes are devastating. Indeed. And we only got a few more. I think we got two more after this. I wonder if these figurines are in order, or if I'm just so happy to be getting these in the same order that Psycho did in this video. I still think it's in the same order that he got them in. Whatever, now, we, now it costs a hundred mysterious shells. So let's just pull the lever, and what do we get this time? Two more. Vati transfigured. This is the second phase of the final boss. Once Vati's body has been shattered, this dark form rises up. All that remains of the evil sorcerer. Only the Sacred Force Sword can defeat him. Alright. And now we all need one more. 100 mysterious shells once again. I think this is the last one, so... Let's pull the lever. And see what we get. And... Here it is, Vati's Wrath. This is the final phase of the final boss. I struggled a lot in this fight, if you remember that. 
This is the embodiment of purest evil, the final form of the power mad Vati. Its mind is consumed with the hunger for destruction. Find its weakness. We did that, but it took me a while, and he fell over. No way! Congratulations! You've collected every single figure I've ever made! I'll keep a good eye on your collection on the shelf here. And here, I want you to have this. It's the Karlov Medal to commemorate your copious collection. Hope you treasure it always. And we got the Karlov Medal. The original 130 figurines are all we need to get to get the reward from that one guy going to his house, as you know. But these ones are optional to obtain the Karlov Medal alongside the Tingle Trophy, which we got from every single kid's dump fusion. We no longer have any count of mysterious shells. So, that's a thing. And I don't think they appear in the overworld at all anymore. Nope, they're not getting up from grass. Yeah, they're not sold here either. I do wonder what that would mean if you got this and then there was a chest that had mysterious, sh mysterious shells in it. Would, would it be replaced with rupees or were they giving mysterious shells anyway? I wonder. That's not something we're going to cover though. And the figurines are one of the last of the things we're going to cover in this series. So, that's it. Finally, for the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. After all this time, we finally 100% it, we also struggle with a few extra things along the way. All on online playthrough. Pretty awesome. And anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, and I also plan on doing a 3 heart challenge of this game, as my next series after Victory Fire. I don't know if it'll start after the series ends or during the series, but either way, that's something I plan on doing eventually, and I hope you look forward to that. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And also subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you all in the next video now. Happy hunting! I don't know why I paused.